today I'm going to share with you my top organization hacks. Decorating with florals can actually be really tricky and a lot of times if you buy some florals, you put them in a vase, they just kind of flop over. They don't really do what you want them to do. So here's a hack to make your florals stand up more and look a lot more realistic. So you're going to take your florals, put them together in a bunch, then you're going to use a regular old chip clip and you're just going to cinch them together. I like to do this where you're not gonna see it when I put them in the vase. Then I'll just set them in my vase and they're gonna stand up so much nicer in this vase. Kids absolutely love to play with glitter and do crafts and they get it all over my floor. So here's a hack to pick up fine things and glitter off your floor. So you're going to need any broom and some packing tape. So you're going to put half of the packing tape on your broom and the other half sticking out and just cut off the excess. You're just going to sweep it up like normal and you'll be shocked at how much glitter that tape picks up. channel consider subscribing I post new videos on Mondays and Thursdays now I don't know if you have small kids maybe you're worried about having candles lit in your house but you still want your house to smell really good here's an option for you so these are car vent air fresheners you can actually clip these onto the air vents in your house to keep your house smelling really good to make your bathroom smell really nice. So you're going to take one of your favorite essential oils, you're going to put a drop of it on the inside of your toilet paper rolls, and it's gonna help your bathroom smell fresh and clean. If you like seeing home hacks, make sure to give this video a thumbs up so I know to do more like it in the future. Here's a super simple hack to make your paper towels look really fancy in your guest bath. So you're gonna need any vase that you have lying around your house, a stack of paper towels. You could also do this with facial tissue and you're just gonna take the stack, fold it in half, and then you're going to place it into your vase. Fan it out a little bit and then your guests can just pull out a towel whenever they need it. DIY and decorate, you're probably always hanging things on your walls. And a renter friendly option is using command strips because they don't create a hole, but sometimes command strips just don't hold enough. So another option I found are these 3M claw drywall picture hangers. These hold up to 45 pounds. They're great because instead of creating a big hole on your wall, they're just gonna create two small holes and you can use them to hang up any picture on your wall. So it comes with this foam piece. You're just going to put this on the wall and mark where you wanna hang your picture. Next, I'm gonna put in the claw clip. So you're just gonna put this triangle on the bottom of your foam piece and then you're just going to press it into the wall. Then you just hang your picture on this little hook. If you've made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. Comment the word of the day, which is clip. A hack to double your space in your kitchen is using these tiered organizers. These are great. I use them in my kitchen cabinets. That way I can have double the dish organization and I use them all over the kitchen. And you can pick these up inexpensively at Dollar Tree. Shoe organizers are great for storing so many small items. In the winter, I put all of our gloves and our hats in here. In the summer, sometimes I switch it up and I'll put sunscreen and sunglasses and goggles. But right now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to put my cleaning supplies in there so I can easily see everything I have and not take up space in my cabinets. I love that I can see everything now. This is gonna keep me organized and I won't repurchase things that I already have.
Hey guys, I'm Liz and you're watching my second DIY channel where I post daily DIY videos. You may be familiar with my main channel, Liz Fibic DIY, but I'm glad that you found me over here on my second channel. Make sure that you're subscribed so you just get notified every day when I post our daily DIY video.